call this place a fisherman's paradise because on any given day you can go out and you could catch four or five different species of saltwater fish, whether it's crabs, shrimp, oysters that may be inhabiting the marshes. One of the great things about this area is there is so much to do. Since we put the oysters in, we've got so many variety of fish now. Fishing, boating, paddling, kayaking, and just enjoying the nature that is around us. A lot of people make their living here on the water, whether it's commercial fishing or through aquaculture. Yeah, the history of the Pamunkey tribe goes back over 10,000 years in this area of Virginia. The Pamunkey people have been here a long time. We intend to stay here for a long time. But the Middle Peninsula of Virginia, including the York River, Piankatank River, and Mobjack Bay, faces some big challenges. In recent decades, the tribe has been affected by numerous issues affecting the environment, water pollution, invasive species, shoreline erosion, climate change, and we're looking at what we can do to minimize those effects. The Middle Peninsula suffers from the highest rate of sea level rise just about anywhere on the East Coast. Our coastal communities are changing fast. When you lose islands, all of a sudden the velocity and the salinity of water will change and there's no telling what that will do to the nursery habitat behind it. And as the ocean levels are rising, we're seeing the marshes deteriorate. We're seeing more coastal flooding in the marshes. It's affecting our oyster industry because when we get bad storms, our cages can be more disrupted and it costs us a lot of time and energy. This area has suffered from all the same things that other oyster areas have, that overharvest, environmental degradation that's happened over a long time period. But they're also a critical species, both ecologically and economically, to this area. Recognizing the challenges of climate change to healthy habitat, as well as the economic and cultural importance of the area, NOAA has selected the Middle Peninsula as a habitat focus area. NOAA and partners will use restoration, science, and community engagement to tackle challenges. The Habitat Focus Area is a five-year mission to try to reach some specific goals that we've worked out with partners in the community here. By improving wetlands, living shorelines, all the habitat that's focused on that area, all of those will have literally trickle-down effects to improve water quality and increase the likelihood of success of the oyster restoration that's going on here. NOAA and partners are working on projects to restore and sustain habitat. Healthy habitat supports fish and other species and in turn contributes to the economy. This summer we'll be constructing 153 acres of oyster reefs. We also are supporting research to look at the economic value of oyster reefs, the submerged aquatic vegetation, and also natural and restored shorelines. A shoreline restoration project at Hog Island It'll protect not only the wetlands on that island, but also the coastal community that's behind it. We've also been reaching out to the tribes about needs that they may have when it comes to their shoreline, uh, which is experiencing some erosion. Work is already showing results. We are really excited about the restoration work at, at Hog Island because we think that's critical to the success of our business. The more protection we have, the better for our oysters and their growth. The anglers recognize the connection between marshes and the fish that they are going after and they understand that without marshes the fisheries uh, productivity is going to decline. And we've got really complex challenges that we have to deal with and I need more bandwidth and, and that's what NOAA is going to bring. They've got expertise. We very much appreciate the science and the commerce focus that NOAA has. We know that NOAA comprehensively looks at problems in the community and really tries to find solutions that work for everyone. I'm totally excited that NOAA would pick an area. This area is beautiful. It has a lot already, but it also has a lot that deteriorates. And so the interest in taking care of this great, great resource we have makes me happy.